Hello. In this session, we can understand the introduction to about virtual machine. You see, if I have a machine just like this, and there is an OS installed in it, so this curly line is going to be my uh, OS. So this is my operating system you see if i have a machine there is an os installed and this machine is known as a physical machine this is my physical machine and uh, the operating in the operating system installed on this physical machine is known to be as host operating system right now if i try to learn different aspects of ethical hacking or maybe a complete cyber security course you know i need to go through various rigorous application malwares or different types of uh, softwares from the repositories i need to check it out right that how it is working a uh, kind of basic analysis of everything <clears throat> But uh, while doing such kind of thing, rigorous applications and malware, you are running on the on the physical machine or in the in this host operating system. This can lead to which can infect uh, my system. Do you think it is a good idea? I think it is not a good idea to run a complete malware function or a, a complete uh, vulnerable uh, system on your physical host machine. You cannot do it, right? And hence, we need something called as virtual machines. Uh, and this virtualization is very important uh, in cyber security to set up your own uh, cyber security lab or any kind of lab like ethical hacking or penetration testing lab it is very important to have this uh, virtual machine uh, so what exactly this virtual machine deals here you know when when i say that uh, there is this operating system so this is the operating system which i am drawing in a curly line and this is the uh, uh, physical machine uh, square box which i going to do like this and inside this host operating system it will create a layer okay it is this another layer <coughs> inside your physical machine uh, and inside this layer i mean in this layer you can perform any operation perform any operation and remember that this operation will not reflect out of the layer. I mean, whatever you are doing here in this part, it will never reflect to your host operating system. Okay. Uh, but, well, that depends what you are running on. I mean, if you are running a, a virus with a source code written specifically for a VM, it could be harmful for your physical machine uh, as it will reflect, uh, you know, the things in your physical machine. So, uh, whatever you, you are doing with your virtual machine. I mean, if you are running a code, which is specifically written to harm your host operating system then it will reflect definitely otherwise whatever the operation you are performing here in this in this part will never reflect to the host operating system this is uh, you know generally the virtualization says so uh, the naming convention is very important so it is like this uh, this is uh, going to be my physical machine so uh, let me write it down here this is uh, my physical machine and uh, the operating system which is installed on this physical machine is known as host operating system right uh, and let me create uh, another layer which i am talking about so this is uh, the layer of virtualization uh, so this is my virtual machine this is basically the virtual machine and the operating system which is installed on this virtual machine is known as guest operating system right so now if you are having a host operating system you can install multiple operating system in this region not only single but multiple guest operating system you can install installed any uh, any operating system linux distros windows mac os if you can find a iso file uh, android or any type of uh, debian or unix system right so this is uh, some of the part now the question is how this virtualization works sir? well uh, to work with this virtual machine we need something called as virtualization uh, this is an important part and how you can get this virtualization it is it is basically a piece of software we call it as hypervisors remember this term it is important so it is it is it, it is going to be gained from something called as piece of software so it is a piece of software it's having a name called as hypervisor 
Now, what exactly is the hypervisor? Uh, it will create a virtualization layer. So, this is actually helpful here. It will create a virtualization layer that will separate your, uh, you know, that, that will separate your CPU, RAM, and other hardware of this host operating system with this uh, uh, guest operating system. It will separate that out. Okay, uh, so this virtual machine definitely it is using the resources of your host operating system, but uh, the the complete hardware is is being separated from the physical machine and from the virtual machine, right? So there are two types of hypervisors in the market, and a cloud computing person will definitely understand this whole thing. Uh, so there are two types of hypervisor. So I'm gonna put it in this way: types of uh, hypervisor this is also very important because it depends on uh, what level you are in the cyber security or in ethical hacking uh, so you can either have a type 1 hypervisor or a type 2 hypervisor uh, well the naming is also like uh, metal or native or bare metal or native uh, it is also known as metal hypervisor and this type 2 is known as hosted hypervisor now, so what is the difference? Well, difference is very simple. Uh, so let me separate this out. Uh, so to make a clear understanding. So if I if I have like this. So separation is uh, type one and uh, type two. And now how can we differ it? it? Let's say this type one hypervisor, it runs directly on the physical hardware, which is very important part. So it runs directly on the physical hardware. Okay. And uh, so if it is running directly on the hardware and it doesn't need any existing operating system beside this hardware thing, does not need, doesn't need any underlying operating system, any underlying operating system pre pre-installed uh, with this hardware. Okay. Doesn't need it. And uh, uh, just like I mean, in the type 2, it is uh, normally you use it in your regular uh, um, practice, but uh, th this type 2 actually needs some oper existing operating system. However, this type 1 doesn't need it. It just need a hardware on which onto which I can install uh, my hypervisor and then on the on the top of that hypervisor, I can install many guest operating system likewise. So there are many examples here. You can have a Zen server. Uh, this is basically a kind of hypervisor you can even uh, have a vmware asxi uh, you can also use hyper v of microsoft which is pre-installed in windows 8 8.1 and 10 so you can use this so what kind of uh, uh, diagram i can put it over here so it is something like you just need a hardware uh, then on to which you can install any hypervisor so you can see a, uh, hypervisor i'm so sorry my r and v is being uh, interfered but uh, no issue and onto the uh, onto the top of the hypervisor you can install many guest operating system here guest operating system one uh, you can have a guest operating system two as well right in this way you can have uh, the thing on type one uh, so you see that a hypervisor uh, doesn't need any kind of uh, sorry the hardware doesn't need any kind of operating system here it, this hypervisor is directly installed on the hardware no need of operating system here now comparably in contrast to type 1 this type 2 need an hosted operating system need an uh, operating system or pre-existing installed existing operating system and need and uh, this type 2 uses uh, resources of uh, host operating system that means uh, whatever the installed operating system I'm having, uh, this uh, this hypervisor is using this resources of the host operating system, right? So some of the better examples I'm having is a virtual box. Uh, there are actually many, but uh, these are very pretty famous. Uh, VMware, you can also use Fusion, Solaris Zone. Uh, this is for Mac. Uh, Solaris is there, Solaris Zone. And there, are, and there are plenty of it. You can search a quick search on uh, Google for this. So this is type one and how it looks like? It looks like something like this. So there is a, there is a hardware. 
and uh, onto the hardware i have a, a host operating system that means the normal way the normal uh, thing that you had seen just like this i have a, i have my machine with me and windows 10 in my 10 is my host operating system and onto which i'm going to install something called as a hypervisor here now this is in general practice you generally do so such as like i'm using vmware and I'm going to use it. So this is VMware. Okay, so I already have a hardware, which is my physical machine. That means this HP mach machine. And then I have a host operating system means Windows 10 operating system. Onto which I am installing hypervisor, which is my VMware. And now on the VMware, I can install my guest operating system one, maybe Linux, guest operating system, uh, maybe Windows 8, a guest operating system, uh, maybe Android likewise. All right, so this is a part of type two. I hope you like it and you understand that how it is important to ethical hacking course that to install a virtual machine uh, so that we can practice it on in a better way. I hope you understand it. Thank you so much guys and I'll see you in the next session.